test. This is a wheel with silver suspension. We've been getting a lot of requests on how to set preload, so we're going to walk you through a few steps and a few different ways to go about this depending on what tools you have available. Starting off with a fresh out of the box coilover. It's always a good idea to reset preload yourself just so you know what baseline you're starting from and you know your hands did it. So, to start out, most coils, or coilovers in general, will work best with around three to five millimeters of preload. Some cars like a little more, some like a little less. If you are getting um, any noise issues from your coilovers, more than likely it's a preload issue. So, to start off, here's your fresh coilover. You wanna make sure that you have no preload in it whatsoever. And what I do is bring the spring collar down until we have visible up and down play. That means your negative preload, you're not starting out already compressing the spring. So bring the spring up and make sure it's fully seated at the top. Bring your lower locking collar up until it just touches the spring. All the up and down play is gone, but the spring is not compressed. This will be your zero preload setting. So you have a few ways to go about it. Easiest that most people can, can do. You take one of your spanner wrenches. Most of them are about five millimeters thick. So that's a good point of reference. You can use this as basically like a go, no go gauge. So we're starting out from zero on here. I'll keep this locking collar tight and we're just spinning the spring seat on the shock but not spinning the shock itself. So you'll see this start going up. You're compressing the spring. And you wanna keep going just until you're able to fit the spanner wrench between the collars like so and it's got a nice snug fit. Bring your locking collar back up. Crank her down. And voila. That is five millimeters of preload. It's locked down and good to go, ready for installation. I'm gonna show you another method. This one is more specific to Silver's coilovers or anything that happens to use the same thread pitch body. This is pretty much the simplest way to do it. You're gonna to need to put a Sharpie line on your collar so that way you can visually see how many turns you're spinning. And it's gonna go like this. So we know these shocks are a 52 by two millimeter thread pitch. So for every complete rotation of a collar, that's gonna be two millimeters of movement. So for starting out from zero, got our up and down play. No more play in it. Bring this around. You get a good visual on that collar, on your mark. You're gonna spin that around one, two, two complete rotations. So that'll leave us with four millimeters of preload. If you want five millimeter, that'd be two and a half. If you want a three millimeter, that'd be one and a half. But simple as that, snug it up and you're done. Locked in. Easy way to set preload. You can do that both on and off the car. Just want to mention one more thing. I got a lot of people saying, hey, I preloaded my coilover, but I can still spin my spring. Is something wrong? No. Especially with ours, on a lot of our models will come with a radial bearing upper spring perch, which basically means the spring is sitting on a bearing. It's going to be very easy to spin. There's not much friction. This coilover already has preload set on it, and I have no problem spinning the spring. Don't go by that as a metric if you have enough preload on your setup or not. All right, guys, that concludes our video. Thanks for watching, and hopefully now you have a good understanding. Many ways to go about it, only a couple ways to do it right.